Hey y'all, and welcome to today's video. I have to show y'all what just showed up on my doorstep. I'm so incredibly happy. I have the new Glam White Valentine's Day collection that is all about Chucky and Tiffany. I am so pumped for a non-traditional Valentine's Day collection. They're kind of playing on like horror and Valentine's Day and I love that. It's so fun to take a holiday, take a concept and make it your own. I love that. I have the lip kits, the blush. I'm wearing the blush and a lip already. I have the eyeshadow palette. I have the eyeliner duo. We are going to play with this collection. I want to swatch everything for you. I want to show close-ups of everything for you. I want to give you my thoughts, my opinions. It is going to be a good time, but let me tell you before we get too far into this, I've never seen any of the Chucky movies. Of course, I know who Chucky is though. I I do know that and I know who Tiffany is, his girlfriend, his wife. I'm pumped for this collection. And if you're new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel. We don't try to be perfect. We just wanna have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do upload lots of new videos every single week. So I hope that you will subscribe before you leave today. I cannot wait to put this on my face though. So let's jump in. <music> Okay, y'all, jumping right into it. This collection is going to launch February 14th, tomorrow at 8 a.m. PST. The full collection will be available. The only thing I do not have is the mirror, and that is because the mirrors got to Glam Light a little after the PR and everything went out. So there will be a mirror in the full collection. You can definitely check that out on the Glam Light site, but I'm so pumped for this makeup. I'm so happy to get this. I have been a customer of Glam Light long before I was affiliated with the brand. And I just want to give my thoughts on the collection for y'all. I want to show you close-ups. I want to do everything fun. But this collection, I do want to read you a little bit of this because this is a little different. So I got this in the box and this, the rays, Chucky and Tiffany, you get the little photo here. But this says the most killer collection in history created by Glam Light's proud LGBTQ plus vice president. I definitely recommend that you check out Anthony's social medias if you have a chance. He shares a lot of really, really inspiring stuff. And I have to say, I had the pleasure of meeting Anthony in person over the summer. And honestly, one of the kindest people I've ever met. I'm a tiny creator. I'm a tiny creator, especially when you look at the huge creators that Glam Light works with. And they were just so, so kind to me, not just Anthony, but Giselle also. So I'm excited about this collection. I've loved Glam Light for a long time. I really love their products, but I love y'all too. So I'm gonna keep my thoughts and opinions completely honest. I just wanted to throw out there that I have met Anthony, the Glam Light team. This collection was sent to me. If you wanna save money at Glam Light, you can use code Heather Austin. You don't have to, but I wanna let you know that I do have that code if you're shopping the site. But I'm excited. I wanna see how these products perform. Now, let's just start off with the blush because I am wearing the blush now. I wanted to get this video up for y'all as soon as possible, but today is Monday. It is a full homeschool day. I have been teaching algebra all morning, so we're taking a break. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this a video for y'all, but I went ahead and put on the blush. So, so I am wearing the duo now. This says it is the oh, it's like a shifty one. Do you see that? Ah, ha, ha. Like it's, is that like where it moves? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. This is Chucky blush duo kit honor and obey. So then opening it up, we have a nice mirror. Let me show you a close up of this and I'll also shoot, show you swatches. So we have good guys imprinted on the blushes 
really, really pretty duo. I love the packaging on this and it also comes in a really pretty box too. I know a lot of y'all like to keep the box with your makeup. So I wanted to point out that the boxes are really, really nice. And of course, let me see, can I see? Yeah, you can see how the image shifts. I love that. I did put this blush on. I don't have any highlighter on, so maybe we'll add something at the end. But I'm also wearing these lip duos. Look at this cool packaging. Let me show you a close up and swatches of these as well. We have the Tiff lip kit and the Chucky lip kit. So I am wearing the lip liner from the Tiff lip kit. So it says Chucky and it has Tiffany down here and it's this deeper lip liner that I'm wearing. And then I went on with the lipstick that has Tiffany on it. And on the lipstick, like the actual lipstick, there's also like bleeding hearts, which I think is a really, really cool detail. Everything about this is really, really luxe. There's hearts printed down here on the the feral. And then for the Chucky lip kit, I did not use the lip liner in this one, but I did go over Tiff with the Chucky lipstick. So this is more of a beautiful brown kind of lighter color than the Tiff. So again, I do have both shades mixed. The other thing that I'm very excited about in this collection is the eyeliner duo kit because I loved the liquid liner in the Scooby-Doo collection, but it's like a pot and a brush. This I'm very excited for because it's actually like an eyeliner pen instead of just um, like a brush tip. So I'll show you a close up of the packaging on this one too, because I think it's so, so cool. But we do have a pencil. We'll use this on the eyes today. It does say Chucky. And then with the eyeliner pen, this is my favorite form of eyeliner when I can just draw it like this. So I'm really excited. I'm hoping for that wonderful formula that I love from the Scooby-Doo collection. But the packaging is just, I mean, killer vibes right? Okay, I'm so looking forward to this eyeshadow palette. Look at it change. Isn't that cool? So this color story is something that I'm super duper excited about. We have black, we have silver. It looks like we have some really beautiful formulas in here. Let me show you a close up and swatches because I like that we have some different formulas in this palette. We have mattes, we have shimmers, we have very sparkly shades, what looks like it's gonna be some wet metallic type shades. We have matte with sparkle, I love that formula, and I know Glamlight eyeshadows really well. I have a lot of their palettes. Like I said, I just really, really enjoy the brand, so I'm gonna give you my full thoughts on what I think of this palette. I wanna, wanna just give you kind of my first impression playing with this after the after we like try the look on. So far, I'm loving the blush and the lip products, but I kind of knew I would because I do <laughs> have experience with Glam Lights formulas, but I want to try this palette on the eyes. I want to try the eyeliners. I have a lot of things to do today, <laughs> so we're going to create a really pretty look, hopefully, and yeah, I'm going to tell you what I think. So let me put on some eyeshadow primer. Let me zoom y'all in and we will create an eye look. I can't wait. Okay, so to start off, my eyes are primed. And there's so many directions I could go with this palette. Now I saw several people saying that this color story reminded them of one of the Melt Beetlejuice palettes. I definitely see that, but I will say I have that palette, I love it, but Melt and Glam Light have very different formulas. Um, and I know that Melt palette's no longer available, but I also thought of that color story. So I wanna play, of course, with the grays, and I, I really, really wanna play with these grays and silvers and blacks, and we're gonna pull in some of these tones too. What I want to initially start with, though, is because I just, I, I want to go dark. I really want to go dark. So I'm going to start with this shade right here. This shade is called Let's Be Friends, and it does have the two hearts that are bleeding embossed in the pan. I think that's really special. So I'm going to pick this up with my Sigma brush, and I'm going to put this right in here. 
This brush was part of my favorites bundle that I did with Sigma. So I will link that down below as well, but look at how pigmented that is right away. And I'm gonna keep this in the crease. Like here's my socket, but I'm also gonna blend it above and below. I always say in my videos that I'm not trying to be perfect. I just wanna have fun with my makeup and I mean it, <laughs> I mean it. So I just wanna have some fun. I wanna create a look that I really enjoy, hopefully one that y'all enjoy. And then of course, if you are interested, you can let me know if you wanna see more looks with this palette. Okay, now what I want to do is go into I Like To Be Hugged. And this has an embossing on the pan too. So I'm just gonna pick that up with my brush and I'm gonna put this in the outer half of my crease. So this is a very dark shade with some like purple leaning tones to it. So I'm just going to start by like pressing it on and then I'll lightly blend. But first I'm just getting the pigment down on top of the primer and slowly, slowly blending. When working with dark colors like this, I just really try to take my time. And I'll also say, I saw that Glamlight on their Instagram and maybe TikTok has been posting some uh, tutorials too. They did a really pretty cut crease tutorial. So if you're looking for more inspiration, if you're not watching their videos, definitely check that out. Okay, from here, what I wanna do is go into this shade Scarier Than Ever. And there's a really nice mirror in the palette too. So I'm just going to lightly go along the edges of that deeper shade and just very slowly diffuse. So I'm going down, around, and if you can see, I'm just barely letting the brush graze my skin to lightly, lightly blend little circles and then kind of back and forth. All right, so I feel like those three shades are looking really cool, but what I'm gonna do now is go in with He's Back, this matte with what looks to be like maybe some red, some like, different shades of red and maybe a little purple sparkle. I'm picking that up on my brush. And what I wanna do, I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to make sure y'all can see while also not stabbing myself in the eye, but I'm gonna put this right against the lower lash line. I'm just gonna take it back and forth, but I'm gonna keep it right up against the lashes. I want this to be dramatic and kind of smoky. So I'm just going back and forth like this. Okay, I wanna go in now with this beautiful gray shade right here called Good Guys, and it has Good Guys printed on the pan. And I'm gonna take this just a little bit under that shade on the lower lash line to smoke it out even further. And using two shades on the lower lash line is gonna give us even more dimension. So I'm just lightly brushing my brush, <laughs> brushing my brush back and forth, not pressing hard on the skin, not tugging, just lightly going back and forth, back and forth. All right, now we're gonna play with some beautiful shades for the lid. So I've been going back and forth with what I wanna do because I'm really attracted to these two silvery shades. But I also kind of want to play with the purples, but that's okay. That's okay. This isn't a one use palette. I can use this tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day. <laughs> so it's, it's okay. I can't use everything on my eyes today, even though I want to. So what I think I'm going to do actually is I want to go in with your pal since 1998. And then I wanna go in with Chuck and Tiff Forever. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so I picked up Your Pal Since 98 
on my brush and I did spray my brush a little bit with makeup setting spray after I had the shadow on my brush and shut the freaking front door, the back door, the side door, the car door, the doggy door, shut all the doors because this is so gorgeous. It is not, it is not super common to find a shade this intense, this deep, and this gorgeous on the lid that is not patchy or weird. Do you see that? I know y'all saw the swatches, but come on. That is beautiful and intense and glistening. And I see some sparkle and it looks wet and it's what dreams are made of. That is beautiful. I was saying I did spray my brush. I'm just using, I always use just whatever makeup mist is laying around. I don't think Glam Light makes a makeup setting spray yet. They should. They should. Glam Light, if you decide to watch my video, could you make a setting spray? <laughs> I would love that. But I'm just putting this on. I like to spray shimmers, metallic sparkles, dual crumbs, multi crumbs, all that. I like to spray because uh, I have my face done. I don't want to get fallout. And so I just spray for the intensity, but that's, that's so pretty. This is so gorgeous. All right, now I'm taking Chuck and Tiff Forever and putting it on the inner part of my lid so that we have this nice kind of fade from the matte to that beautiful, perfect, take all my money for <laughs> this shade in the center. And then it's gonna fade to the shade that's a little bit lighter on the inner part of my lid just like that wow 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 okay wow okay I said wow I'm just gonna go back and blend just a little bit more remember as you're doing your makeup each step doesn't have to be perfect you can lay some color down go back and blend later come back and blend later like it's all good just have fun with your makeup have a good time with your makeup I want to highlight the inner corner though and I want to use this uh this shade I want to play I want to play this is so pretty this bright silvery shade and I'm not going to spray my brush because I just want to kind of flick it right there to really kind of disperse the shine really kind of disperse that sparkle I mean I know this is only using eight of the 15 shades but good grief every single shade I used has been performing beautifully Okay, let's play with these eyeliners. I don't think I've ever tried a pencil eyeliner from Glam Light, so let's see. I love a black, ooh, okay. Already, I'm not tugging to get that off. Sometimes with eyeliners, I have to really, really tug. So I'm just gonna draw this on like this, and I will say the test of a liner for me is longevity. I do have watery eyes. I love to be outdoors and I'm allergic to trees. As long as I've got my inhaler, it's all good, but my eyes can definitely wear away a liner. So I'm filming this and I'm not gonna be able to edit and get this video up till later today. So I'll definitely have this on for a few hours and I can definitely note in the description box if this liner is staying on or if it's going away. So definitely check there and I'll update the longevity claims, but we've got the you and me eyeliner. <laughs> so cute. And it's, this is a fine tip. Let me help you see, that is a fine, fine tip. So let me see how this goes on. And let's actually do the inner corner because this tip is so thin that I think it's going to be perfect for the inner corner. Oh yeah, that was so easy. That was so easy to get that line right there on the inner corner. So let me put this on. Let me throw on some mascara. And let me throw on some lashes because I'm definitely feeling sultry vibes and I want to put on lash. But you saw it here first, folks. The finished look before liner and mascara. 
or not before liner, but before mascara and lashes. And then I'm going to go and tell you kind of my, my thoughts on this. All right, y'all, here is the finished look. I popped on some lashes. These were part of the Michaela um, Glam Light collaboration. These are in high fashion. And I wanna kind of give you my thoughts on this collection. Right off the bat, I will tell you, if Glam Light did not send me this collection, I was planning to purchase it on launch day because I wanted to try the full collection. And now that I have tried it, if there were some crazy makeup loving maniac that broke into my home and stole this collection from me, I will be on the website buying the full collection again because I love this eye look so much. I feel so sultry and beautiful in this. I honestly am gonna FaceTime my husband as soon as we leave so he can look at me. <laughs> Do any of y'all do that? I do that. I love that. I love the eyeshadow palette. That's my number one pick. My second pick would be the eyeliners. They went on so easily and I love the tiny tip of that eyeliner pin. I really love that. I really like this blush too. Let me show you because when I, let me find it. When I saw this blush online, I keep this blush from Strawberry Shortcake Collection in my drawer right here. You saw, it was right here. When I saw the blush duo online, I was thinking it was gonna be similar to this, but you can see right here, this one is much, much deeper. So I completely am happy with the blush. I think it looks so beautiful on the skin and I love the packaging. I also love like the lip duos a lot. I really like Glam White's lipstick formula. I think it's super beautiful. These feel really luxe, really well thought out. They feel very nice and creamy on the lips. The packaging, love. Both of the lipsticks are that ultra creamy feel. And there's something about the sides of the box that look like a VHS tape to me that I really enjoy too. I think the quality of these products, here is the box for the eyeshadow palette. The quality of everything is really, really nice. Again, this is my first time using the collection, but I will keep using it and I can definitely give you a follow-up review later on. I always do follow up my first impression videos, but I just feel amazing in this look. Everything feels really nice, really luxe. I can tell a lot of time, a lot of thought went into this collection and the palette is just a standout for me. I really want to create an all red look, kind of staying away from the neutral gray tones. I want to play with this some more, but just looking at this eye look, I feel amazing. I hope you're having an amazing day. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box if you're interested in this collection. I'll put my code down there. I'll put the info on how the eyeliner wears because it is gonna be on me for several hours before I get this video up for y'all. I'm just happy with it. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you love the Chucky movies, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you're interested in this collection, if you're shopping your stash, if you're going to put this on your wish list. I love to hear from y'all. Thank you again for watching. I will see you soon in another video. Bye.